Hey, so early. What I did was I, went, I got a gray lighter. So then uh, I even found some more fuel at the Harris Teeter, and I finished cooking my. I finished the beef. Now. somewhere <sighs> well it's still hot oh yeah <laughs> as you can see I've got the beef six months from me And I've also got glass bowls with me. That way I'd be able to prepare it. Oh yeah. I'm going right over to these ble bleachers. I told y'all I would finish cooking. It's so hot too. I practically just cut the heat off. cooking for 20 minutes down in the two hour public parking in Falls Church. Oh, this is delicious looking. It smells great. Check it out. I cooked this meal. This is an amazing abundance of food. What a blessing to have the ability to cook using a little camping stove. That's nice. Well, well, here's the beef down like at the bottom. Perfect though. I'm gonna transfer this into a bunch of containers here. And get it, ready. get it all ready. Oh. It feels nice to stretch my legs. I need to pull. I've got to pull the bicycle out. <laughs> Five, 
short distance over here. I parked right over here. I'm just finishing the, the cooking method. This is potatoes, broccoli, and carrots, a bell pepper, and it's got potatoes and onions and beef. I'm gonna start to switch these. Oh, that's a, the stem of the broccoli. That's a lot of fiber. It's still good and healthy. Oh, I just realized I forgot to add the garlic and the tomato paste. Oh well. This looks like just the perfect amount of moisture in here. 24 fluid ounces of water is how much it was me I measure. I pour it up and then it steams perfect through the rice. This has a lot of gravy too. You just don't see it right away. It's right at the bottom where the beef is. And some of it soaks up in the rice. Amazing. I'm so hungry right now. Uh, thank God for providing me for this abundance of healthy, delicious cooking. You know what, I'll just try to cut up pieces of that beef right now. As best as I can. <laughs> I, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. You know, I don't even use a tripod or anything when I film. How, the, how am I supposed to like clamp the phone? I just put it right between my knees. So, then, okay then. There's a good slice of beef there. It smells great. Fantastic, I could eat that right now. Oh yeah. material. The curry seasoning adds a little yellow color because of the turmeric. It smells really nice and fragrant. It's just McCormick curry seasoning powder. I got it from the BJ's probably. That's why it was such a large container. I had it in, in the bottom of my Jeep for a few months in the winter time. So it was cold. And that way it, the aroma of the spices was preserved because it was like really cold the whole time. It's so fascinating to me how that works. Like, if I had it up in the sunlight, it wouldn't have been as nice. Volatile compound. 
Oh, yeah. The way it smells inside my car right now, it's like so, so exotic. Like, so ethnic. Like I'm in some kind of foreign land. It's, it's very spicy. That's good. This makes six quarts, apparently, but it's like five and a half quarts or something like that. Uh, I don't even know, but it says the information like on the bottom of the pot. Check out this hunk of beef, y'all. That's the fatty meat. It's the meaty bits. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Check out that beef. Oh, you, you can just taste the the richness of the nice protein. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that in there just like that. Cut it later because it's like too much work to cut it right now. With one hand, you know. I'm hungry though. Look at all this amazing food. Wow. I could feed an army. This is the unlicensed food truck business. Yeah, I cook in my car. Because sometimes it makes more sense to do that and to rely on the kitchen of other people. I don't want to be taking advantage of someone's kitchen like that. So I came out here to do it. I drove to many different places and then I bought a lighter just to finish the process. Yeah. I don't even smoke. I use my lighter for igniting gas uh, a little rice sticking to the sides of the pan and then the onion bits on the bottom as you see caramelize a little bit because it's slightly hotter than boiling because of the steam and the pressure that's why it cooks so fast Check out this slice of beef right here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm targeting. This is the pattern. Okay, here's the sequence. What I'm gonna do here, the way I'm gonna approach this, I'm gonna tackle this situation. This is an errand, okay. Whoa, this, this is so much work. What a thick piece of meat. Okay, then that's just gonna keep me going on next Friday probably it's it's our oh, it's only Tuesday oh wow I'll slide that one here yeah. so so much amazing rice on the bottom of this pan though where right where the onions caramelized delicious food prep for the week. That's what I'm after. Down, just down by the dog park. Interesting decision to come, come down here. This is people food. <laughs> Delicious. Oh yeah. I'm so hungry for this. This is my lunch. What's this situation? Damn. These people are nosy. <laughs> he wants a bite. <laughs> 
bet you he, he's hungry as oh you bet you he is uh, this, this, I'm getting like chunks of the this is some kind of steak rib steak what, whatever it was I don't even know I just got it like cooked it I actually bought this meat yes that, that's the grisly part okay and then the texture is thicker on that thick part. I'm gonna have to cut that with a knife. As you see here though, what we've got is the meal prep. It is almost done. Just trying to slide some of these veggies back here on the top. Oh wait, actually some of these I was gonna save some space for the meat anyway. And like whatever is left behind. Yeah, I'll just eat the I'm so hungry. It'd be like about five quarts, so then the sixth quart is what I'm having for lunch, if you measure it out. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna get tackle at this. How do I? How do I get in there? Right into the thickest part. Uh. Okay. It's, it smells amazing. Huh. Center console. Okay. That's another piece for that. Yeah. This is so much work. This is hard work though. Almost finished with the process, I guess. <sighs> See, I was about to go to 18th Street, but I saw the sheriff was kind of down there, and like, what was he looking for? Was he looking for me? <laughs> I'm like about to like go there. Then. Okay, down to the dog park. Hell yeah! Come here every day, actually. Uh, finally, yes, yes, that's the, the beef, and then, yeah. with the rest of this fatty piece, I'm going to try and split it in, the, in half. information as I know right now. Yeah. 
so grisly and fatty and thick, everything. Of course. Eh. You know what? That's so much work. Oh man. Well. Oh yeah, obviously. I'm very, very hungry. I haven't eaten all day, you know. Guess it's time for me to have some lunch. Uh, uh, I really appreciated uh, cooking this up. And the pyro show my own truck. Hell yeah. Nice. Nice. Using some gas. That's all I really needed to do. For sure. Enjoy having my meal. See y'all sometime soon. Bye bye, YouTube. Have a good time.